Dogs fear noises like fireworks and thunderstorms, things that seem to come from nowhere in a dog's mind. It can be hard to give your pet the reassurance they need to remain calm. Even as a pet groomer, dogs struggle with a lot of the normal noises that go on within the walls of a grooming salon, such as the force dryers that we use to dry our pets in grooming salons. Stand dryers, fluff drying can prove to be scary for a pet too. So today I'm gonna to share a product with you that may add comfort to your pet in these situations. It is absolutely my pleasure to share with you the secrets of the grooming industry so you can provide quality care for your beloved pets at home. How to ease pet anxiety? That's what I'm sharing here with you today. Introducing the Happy Hoodie. Gentle compression reduces noise. It has a swaddling effect that calms and comforts pets, relieving fear, and even that occasional aggression that dogs sometimes display when they're afraid that can be associated with all kinds of things. Fear of thunderstorms, fireworks, grooming noises. Let me show you how the Happy Hoodie works. If at any time during this video you're interested in picking one or two or three up for your pets, I have linked it in the description below. You can purchase it on Amazon. The sizes are small, large, and extra large. I recommend the large and extra large for anything over the size of a Shih Tzu, Cocker Spaniel, Sheltie, small would be for a Yorkie, Maltese, Chihuahua. The Happy Hoodie is an expandable, safe, lightweight, soft and comfortable band that is placed over an animal's ears to provide relief and protection from the noise of force drying, loud noises that may be frightening to dogs, fireworks, a vacuum. It calms and comforts and protects. The Happy Hoodie is machine washable and very easy to use. Let me show you how it has helped me and many of the pets that I groom in my salon. This is Apollo. He is a little mixed breed, but he is very, very uncomfortable with having his nails trimmed and he really does not like to be forced dried. Unfortunately, that's what we have to do here in the grooming shop. So here's how we help Apollo. I'm going to show you how I trim one foot of his nails without the happy hoodie. You can see he's getting a little angry. He's getting a little mad. We have to talk him off the ledge here a little bit. Now I've worked with Apollo for many years. We have a very good relationship, but he still, he just does not like to have his nails trimmed. If I can make him feel better about that, I certainly am going to do so. See, we're still friends here. We still have a job to do together. Let's find out if the Happy Hoodie adds any comfort to Apollo in this situation. Having my hands on Apollo and feeling his tension release, I can honestly tell you that this helped to add comfort to Apollo thus far. Just putting the happy hoodie safely, protecting Apollo's ears, and also the swaddling effect that it provides. It really adds some comfort. I can tell this with Apollo. So let's trim another paw and see how Apollo feels about that. I can tell that he's a little um, a little stiff. He's a little more concerned. He's never had the happy hoodie on before. And I think that that alone makes him think, hmm, um, I think he's just thinking about the happy hoodie right now more than anything. <laughs> and perhaps it is making him happy, but I can tell that it has calmed him down. Whether that it provided comfort to him or if he's just more concerned about what is this thing around my neck it kind of feels good but yeah amy's still trimming my nails and i really don't like that but what is this thing around my neck i kind of like it so i already have my stand dryer drying Apollo's face, but now I'm going to add the force dryer into the mix. The force dryer is also something that does make Apollo kind of nervous. You know, I can tell this. 
And, and I wish I could change that for dogs, you know. I can tell when they're nervous. They're very stiff. They're, they pant. Um, they may whine and whimper a little, and it makes me feel bad, you know. I know I'm not hurting them, but I want them to feel comfortable, you know. I can tell that Apollo seems to feel a little more relaxed with this happy hoodie. Now keep in mind, this is only the first time Apollo and I have used the happy hoodie to aid in our grooming session. Do I think I will be continuing to use this procedure with Apollo? Absolutely. I feel like it has definitely made him feel better. Now here's another reason I wanted to buy the Happy Hoodie. My dog Gus, who is a golden doodle, has a very long fluffy ears, which I love, but they are always falling in his food bowl. And he eats a raw diet, so you can imagine that's a little yucky. The Happy Hoodie definitely keeps his ears out of his food and he smells much better and he's much happier. So I thought I would share that with you too. I'm sure Gus is not the only dog with his ears falling in his food and water bowl. And one more great use I'm gonna throw at you is obviously it helps to keep your pet's ears warm. Dogs like this little pug, chihuahuas, Yorkies who have very, very thin, small ears could really use the help of the happy hoodie.